Welcome to another edition of Around Town Chronicles, where we focus in on the streets, the back roads, and the neighborhoods of your community. I'm Larry Seaman, your host, and this is Bonnie Gallagher, who's my co-host. Bonnie, it's good to see you again, of course. Nice to be around, Larry. Okay, <laughs> yeah, right. You're right, for both of us. Now, uh, of course, we're doing a continuing story on the Citizens Hall of Fame in Haverhill. And we've had quite a few lists uh, of people that we've already done. Can you uh, memorize what, who they were? Maybe I won't hit all of them. <laughs> okay. But we've got John Greenleaf Whittier, Hannah Dustin, Roland Macy, Louis B. Mayer. Uh, let's see, who else did we do? Oh, uh, Montana. Bob Montana and William H. Moody, who was Secretary of the Navy, Supreme Court Justice. And... Let's see. Those are some the of the most notable. Of the Chrysler. Uh, oh, GM. yes, yes, yes. Uh, Donald. Uh, Atwood. That's Atwood. It. <laughs> Atwood. At the, at the, I had to think at about the famous it cemetery. Yes, right, exactly. <laughs> right. We actually have a nice garden, a nice display, a nice scenic view here. Actually, we're now at Rogers Spring Hill Garden Center. But it was on this location, when it was Gray and Cole's Nursery, that one of the foremost garden experts in the country got his start and it's a fellow who will be well known to many Haverhill residents still today it was Jim Crockett right and right. he was on television on channel 2 as the victory gardener and he gave a lot of hints to people who were who were starting gardens and wanted information on and help right. on what they were doing and and he got a national reputation because of victory gardener series was syndicated and went to other parts of the country. Right. But he kept very close acquaintance with Haverhill. And he, would be, he was back here frequently and he knew practically a, a whole section of the city. It was mutually acquainted. They were, wow, wow. He was a, uh, he he was a superstar guy. for uh, WGBH. Or right, he was, yeah, yeah. He was one of their aces in the days when they were really getting rolling as a community uh, asset. And he was, he was one of their one of their big guns. Well, that's great. And uh, now, do you know what he did here? Was did was he a big part of Gray and Cole? Well, I don't know how big he was, but of course, we, we always get him. It was Gray and Cole at the time, right? And it, we always credited him with getting his gardening start here. Of course, the uh, the Rogers family has it now. Yeah, and it's but, still flourishing. You might oh, say. Oh, it's <laughs> more than that. More than that. It's growing all the time. Is it? And that's a great community asset for Havel, and, and they do a, a marvelous job here with. And of and course, this is right off of uh, I forget the 125. Right 125, just yeah. before you get to Western Electric, going west. Or well, what used to be called what Western used to, Electric. Western Electric, loose yeah, end. still, yeah. The empty building there yeah. that used to be Western Electric. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. go out on 125 to the, just before you get to what used to be Western Electric. <laughs> But so it, it, it grows all the time, and it has all kinds of garden services and advice and help and, of course, plants and flowers and everything you want for gardening. Right. But Jim was an expert in his field. 